Turn it off. Okay, this should say, let me, let me see, I have to get my eyeballs on. It's recording, yeah, uh, video, yeah. So, yeah, as long as I'm in frame there, I'm in frame. I'm going to edit or trim this thing anyway. Hi, my name's Kit Slider. I'm offering moral support to this organization, Mothers of Lost Children. They are talking about the many problems with the uh, family or domestic relations court. Uh, this particular organization focuses on the fact that uh, uh, pet, uh, males who are pedophiles or abusers or batterers are given uh, custody of children uh, in favor of giving uh, custody of children to the more appropriate uh, biological mothers who uh, do not have any record of battery or abuse or neglect of their children. My wife Nancy and I uh, have a website, it's Kit and Nancy, that's K-I-T-A-N-D-N-A-N-C-Y dot uh, com and it uh, recounts the fact that we too were victims of the family court in Arlington County, Virginia. In this case, uh, it was different. I'm not an abuser or a neglector, neither is my wife. Our child, Sabrina, simply lost a few ounces of weight after birth which happens approximately in 95% of all births. Uh, uh, what we didn't know was uh, the uh, horrendous corruption within what's called Child Protective Services and the whole human services bureaucracy, uh, state, local, and county, and federal, which uh, uh, addresses uh, it, uh, these sorts of issues. Um, Again, uh, with our daughter lost a few ounces of weight after birth, and uh, what, what we regard as a, a corrupt pediatrician practice and a corrupt hospital in Arlington, Virginia, uh, simply picked up the phone, called the Child Protective Services without our knowledge, started working a case against us. Uh, they advised since the child was uh, had lost a few ounces of weight that we take her, Sabrina, into um, uh, the hospital to get a handle on this weight loss. Really, uh, the, the pediatrician we had was inept and incompetent. Uh, all that was needed was uh, in supplementation to my wife's breastfeeding the baby, all he needed to do was prescribe that he, she up the formula by about a half an ounce or more at each feeding. That would have resolved the problem. But uh, our child uh, uh, was taken from us. There was a uh, court order from a what we regard as a corrupt uh, family court judge. Uh, we went through hundreds of thousands of dollars of expense. We learned the hard way that there are no rules of evidence and no juries in these family courts. And so it is a draconian kangaroo court system. This is not just a United States problem. This is a problem throughout the entire Western world whether it's Europe, Canada, New Zealand, or Australia, uh, the same uh, corruption or the same horrendous system uh, goes on. It does not occur in Russia or China or Africa or the Middle East or Latin America. It only occurs in what is referred to as the Western world. And uh, people need to raise heck about this. Uh, we do know that during the Vietnam War, uh, the activism of, uh, of millions of people who protested the war at least helped bring it to uh, a quicker conclusion. Of course, the Vietnam War was a fiasco. Uh, and to all you folks who trust the government, 
uh, just ask yourselves, where were the weapons of mass destruction? Uh, and uh, you can ask yourself about how useful was World War I. You can ask people how useful the Korean War was, or even the first Gulf War. So we live in a corrupt system. There's corruption in the military-industrial complex. Uh, there's certainly corruption in what they call family court. And even over and above this, there's a corruption in everything defined as human services. They're actually anti-human disservices. And uh, as you get even deeper in things, you'll notice that uh, Wall Street criminals and bankster criminals who gouge people with rapacious interest rates or who have robo signings which are rushed uh, mortgage foreclosure hearings, you'll notice that they just happen to uh, give both parties of our system millions and millions of dollars and uh, interestingly enough they always get their way and I don't believe that any bankster or Wall Street criminal has done a day in jail for uh, stealing uh, you know, probably billions of dollars from the American system so don't be naive uh, uh, ask questions. Don't be afraid to revolt. Uh, this country, the America, United States of America, was based, or it was founded on a revolution from, uh, uh, from England. I must say that way back then the issues were far less drastic than they are today. You have to take uh, uh, charge of your destiny. You have to become informed, you have to be activist. And I'll just say that if you're not outraged, you're not paying attention. And I'm going to sign off with uh, www.kitandnancy.com. I thank you very much. This is Mother's Day 2014 in front of the White House. Uh, in Washington, D.C., USA. Thank you. Thanks a lot, man. Appreciate it. This will.